All right, way to start it. Little bitty tiny one. Not too windy out here today. Actually pretty nice right now. All right guys, I picked up a couple new reels yesterday. Not expensive ones. Um, got my money back for those one threes. And uh, so I picked up these uh, loose uh, speed spin. Check it out. Loose speed spin. Uh, it's a CF3 300 SKG. So I'll let you guys know how they work out in probably a few weeks. There you go, dude. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. I know there's bigger fish around here. I just got to find them. Because some of these mats, it's been getting pretty warm during the day. So some of these mats, some of these fish will actually get... Some of these fish will actually get um, underneath these mats right here. Just debris and stuff. You know. Try to get out of that sun. So... Guys, don't be afraid to cast into the mat and the mat, mats and all this stuff. You know, like I said, I'm going to hit the outer edges with the flute. You know, and the little open spots. And then I'm going to come through with the, a frog and hit that other stuff. We have that one. This little guy has a little sore mouth. See that right there? The red, he's been caught before. I'm sure that most of them have. A small one though. Not what we want. I know some of you guys are going to comment there. Maybe comment. Maybe you will. I don't know. But usually sometimes people do that. About buying cheap reels or whatever. My whole point of my channel, too, uh, also is to show people that you don't need expensive stuff to go fishing and catch fish. You don't need a $200 reel. You don't need a $300 pole. You don't need any of that stuff. You could get by with, you know what, anything. You know, some good line. You know, make sure you got a good drag on your reel. You know, a decent drag. You know, my stuff is old. And maybe I'll do that another video and show you what I use, you know, and I've caught good fish You know, I have one pole that's I call it my best pole one decent pole It's a G Loomis pole and I use it for my worms I use it for worms when I have fish plastics. That's my because I could fill everything with that But you know, I've had that thing too probably between 18 and 20 years I, I've had it a long time so you know what I mean I bought it a long time ago but you know do you need do you need that to catch big fish no is it gonna help you catch big fish no it's your presentation it's what you're using and your presentation and you make sure you have good line and that's what I do stress on have good fishing line you know I use braid I use uh, floral and I use mono but I use them for different situations too. I don't just use them, you know, I mean, I don't just use them because that's what I have for each pole. I mean, I use, those are my things that I use. Make sure I have good line, make sure I tie good knots and I have good hooks, you know. And all my hooks, I sharpen them all. So I take the time to sit down in the evening and take each hook and I'll, I'll sharpen it. Why? Because that's, you know, that's part of your lifeline you know that line, that hook and that's what that's what get grabs the fish you know but i've bought inexpensive hooks from walmart that are decent hooks you know they're not sharp they're not sharp at all but i sharpen them and i use them so you know 
you don't have to have the high dollar stuff you know is it cool to have yeah it's cool to have there's nothing wrong with it but not everybody could afford all that you know most of my stuff i it's it's not expensive stuff you know do i need it no would i like to have it yeah i think we all would you know i'd like to have a lamborghini too but i can't afford it so you know my truck and my jeep and get me where i need to go you know there's an area that's back further back that I'm, i've been wanting to try too i went out there before and it was real shallow and it's a big shallow area flat section and it's got some bumps and stuff but there's a lot of fish that post up on there oh there we go guys there we go guys Finally got a good one. Oh, come on. Finally got a good one, guys. Let's hope he's over three pounds. Oh, don't fall. Don't lose him. Don't lose him. Come on, don't lose him. Don't lose him. Gotta get my net, gotta get my net guys, gotta get my net, gotta get my net guys. Go oh, right in the net, there you go. Fat one. Let's see if you'll call. G Money Strong Outdoors. Let's see if he'll call. Let's see if he'll call. I don't know, it looks pretty. He's fat, he's heavy. And he's fat, but we'll see. Okay, 0 0.000, guys. Let's see what she weighs. Oh, 2.24, guys, too small. All right, guys, I'm gonna let you go. There you go. Oh, guys. Oh. Guys, check out this one, guys. Nice one right there. Let's see how much this one weighs, guys. Look at that. That's a good bass right there. Okay, guys. I'm going to weigh this guy right here. We need a call. I need one over three pounds. I can't see it. Oh. 2.55 guys 2.55 2.55 if you can see it he's a little small that's fun to catch 2.55 guys nice bass there we need some bigger ones I'm trying to call guys i'm trying to call just can't get it can't can we get those good ones the ones i want but they're coming they're getting bigger That was a small one, guys. Small one. But they're fun to watch them jump like that, guys. Little tiny guy, guys. Let this dude go. See ya.